Greetings, knowledge seekers. The Force is with you. Today, we're going to be doing a video on this Princess Leia style pixel lightsaber from Dual Sabers. Just wanted to say thanks to Dual Sabers for sending the saber out to check out. As you can see, it comes in a nice hard case with the Dual Saber logo and with dual combination locks to protect your saber. It takes about three to five days to ship when it's in stock. So let's take a look inside. So inside the case, it comes with everything you expect with a custom saber. We got the instruction manual, the combination lock instructions, the acrylic stand, which comes in three pieces. So right there, little zip lock with a small Allen key and extra screws, your USB type C to A charging cable. Remember, never plug your saber to a charger greater than five volts. We got a Neo Pixel blade plug. We got the SD card reader, and our fancy heavy duty Allen key. We got the 36 inch pixel blade that it comes with. It comes in a 36. It has the built in LED strips inside. And last we have our Princess Leia lightsaber hilt. Look at that, that's beautiful. It has a nice D ring on the bottom. So if you cosplay, you can just hook it to your belt clip. There is a lot of chrome, so I do tend to wipe this a lot, but it's really shiny. It's very royal looking, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying. Around the grip part, it has this rose gold look, including on the thin neck. And to access the battery, you have to just screw off the, the grip. It's also how you access the USB type C charging port. Now, compared to a licensed hilt from Disney and Hasbro, this one is a little bit skinnier, especially the emitter. Because it is a tiny bit smaller, it does make it easier to grip on the hands. Like, I really like how this feels. It's a relatively light hilt until you put on the 36 inch blade on it. I generally prefer a 32 to spin with, but the 36 definitely looks cooler in the dark. It does get a little challenging to spin around the neck area, which I'll talk about later. Inside this one is loaded with a Xenopixel version 2 electronics board. Dual Sabers also offers this in RGB baselet if you want a blade that's lighter and more durable. And by the way, if you're looking for more Saber and Star Wars content, I started my new channel called Lightsaber Culture. Once we are monetized, we'll be doing all our Saber content on the new channel. So be sure to subscribe to it on YouTube as well as follow it on TikTok and Instagram. Now, if you remember where Princess Leia's lightsaber was actually featured on, it was on the Rise of Skywalker in a flashback scene where she was using it, where she had the vision about uh, Ben turning into Kylo Ren. And it was used by both Ben Solo and Rey Palpatine. <laughs> the scene where she goes, I am all the Jedi. So let's pop on the blade and try this out. The controls are pretty much the standard Xenopixel version 2 controls. We'll go through a few of the controls. When the saber is off, hold the button to turn it on to standby. Keep in mind, because this is a character saber, you don't have the LED indicator to tell you how many blinks. So if you follow the manual, you'll have to count in seconds for the blinks. That's important when you're trying to access hold functions of the button. Check the manual for how many blinks for each second. So tap once to ignite the blade. You also have gesture controls to ignite and deactivate. It's off, back on, twist off, twist on. With the blade deactivated, you can set the volume by holding the button for one second. One. Volume low. Now the volume's low. So when I turn it on, it's a wee bit quieter. Hold the button for one and a half seconds to change the light effect. This usually lets you toggle different blade styles or ignitions within the sound font you're on. One, half. Unstable. So this one's unstable. So a little bit more of a stroby look. It's actually strobing white and blue from my eyes, but it looks more like it's pulsing in the camera. Let's do another one. Rainbow blade, look at that. Here's candy blade. Crack blade. So 
So here's the Fire Blade, one of my favorites. Just looks like, kind of has that Kylo Ren effect. So back to steady with a regular ignition. Now, if you hold the button for two seconds, which would be four blinks, it will cycle through the directions to the next sound font. So one, two, three, four. Fallen Apprentice Magenta. Now it's Fallen Apprentice Magenta. Kind of a pinkish purple blade, uh, different sound font. Now to go back to the other directions, hold the saber down and quickly twist counterclockwise, then clockwise. The princess. So back to the princess. Now if you hold it upward and do the same twist, it's your gesture to turn on the blade. You have smooth swing. You hear that sound when you're swinging around the blade. You got blade clash. Blaster deflect when you tap the button. Hold the button down and clash and the blade will have a lockup effect. Hold the button down for half a second to do tip drag. Now to change the color, there's actually three ways to go into the color change mode on a Xenopixel. First way is to hold the button for one second to go into color mixing mode. Tap the button when you selected a color. So half a second. Color change. So it's gonna cycle through all the color mixing. So you basically are endless as far as how many colors you can cycle through. But it does take a lot of time to cycle through all of them. So another thing you can do is to point your saber down, hold the button, then twist counterclockwise, then clockwise. So hold down. Color change. So now it's cycling through all the solid colors. Tap the button when you found the one you want. And lastly, the coolest way to change the blade color is to point the saber downward again, hold the button, but this time twist clockwise, then counterclockwise. Color change. Now this is my favorite way to change the color because you basically get to pick through the entire color mixing palette by twisting the hilt. It's basically gesture controlled. So say I want more of a teal, we got it there. Or more of a yellow right there. Orange, red. And it stops at red, it doesn't cycle back around. So if you need a deep red, you just stay there and then tap the button when you're ready. If I wanna go the other way, it's also red. So let's say I want this blue right here. Tap, color, select. color selected. Now let's take this out for a spin. And we're back. So like I was saying earlier, I'm not used to spinning a 36 inch blade, but it was definitely fun. Again, the reason why I wore gloves is to avoid my fingers to get pinched in this area right here. Also, you gotta make sure that the blade is seated tight to prevent wobbling. It's usually the common thing to make sure of when dealing with a thin neck saber. Big shout out to my Grooms Jedi, Derica, for doing the photo shoot with me with the saber. So I hope you like this demo of this Princess Leia lightsaber from Dual Sabers. For more lightsaber videos, follow this playlist right here, and we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, the Force is with you, always.